Liz Truss has urged the West to deliver more sanctions, and, more weapons in the fight against Putin's barbaric actions in Ukraine. Ms. Truss has repeatedly called for a stronger stance against Putin's atrocities as the invasion of Ukraine continues. Delivering a landmark message at a working dinner of NATO foreign ministers in Brussels, she said, I am in Brussels talking to G7 NATO allies about how we can increase the support for Ukraine in the face of Russian aggression. We are delivering more sanctions, more weapons, and an end to the imports of Russian energy. The age of engagement with Russia is over. It's time for decisive action, time for a new approach to security in Europe based on resilience, defense and deterrence. Not only to uphold the UK's sovereignty and freedoms, but also to protect sovereignty and freedom across the world for decades to come. Speaking after the meeting in Brussels, Ms. Truss said. Putin has changed his tactics but not his intent. He wants a hold over the whole of Ukraine. The foreign secretary had earlier said the UK would be stepping up its supply of weapons but has not yet detailed what this would include. It comes as Prime Minister Boris Johnson said the UK would send another £30 million to Poland to help ensure vital supplies reach those fleeing Ukraine. Meeting with his Polish counterpart in Downing Street earlier. He said it was an important moment to launch a proper thoroughgoing security defense partnership. NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg said allies were ready to do more to provide military equipment but did not go into specifics. Ukraine Foreign Minister Dmytro Kuleba, also speaking at the NATO meeting, said help was needed in days not weeks if it was to avoid coming too late. Meanwhile, Russia has warned that pumping weapons into Ukraine will have a negative effect on peace talks. Ukraine is not a part of NATO but has been receiving military aid from its members. More than 30 countries, including the UK, have provided military aid, including €1 billion, Euros, £800 million, from the EU and $1.7 billion, £1 billion pounds, from the US.